Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn Cypress Visual Testing. Uh, it is about uh, having an image in the baseline and uh, taking a screenshot of an of an element or anything. Then compare, make a comparison between this baseline photo and the uh, taken screenshot photo. So um, first of all, Cypress doesn't have any built-in uh, method to uh, compare screenshots. So we need to use uh, we will use a plugin that is already available in the Cypress uh, official website if we go choose Cypress visual testing and if you click if you click the uh, plugins and we need to find here so testing <coughs> um this one that is written everything very clearly how to install it and uh, how we should use it um, they also provided us some very good example and explanations as well the fuller structure it is very important we will come to here later first of all we need to install it uh, um, i have already um, installed that plugin uh, you will just need to copy it and paste it in the terminal <clears throat> So actually, I already have done it. We do not add anything else. We just, I'm just doing it. We need to just copy that and paste it in the terminal. That's all. And we need to open this separate CUA. Before that, we need to uh, set something the way they have uh, written here, uh, separate plugin in the index folder. We just copy it and plugin index.js. Plugin index.js. To paste it here. Now in the support command.js. Support command.js. After that, support index.js. So, okay, that's all, and I think we are ready to go to use this plugin. Now, here I will use this example, and if you check the others, you can easily understand this. And uh, I mean, it is very um, uh, easy and self-explainable. This is my GitHub profile, and the thing I will uh, uh, I, I will do here. I mean, I need to compare a an image i will uh, i will use this image i mean i will do image verification of this first of all i will come here uh, in my github profile after that i will click the image and it will uh, it will take me to this page and i can easily see my whole picture here so i need to uh, compare that like um, and i i will already have an image in my baseline then i will make a comparison between this photo so i will use the plugin uh, and with the help of this plugin we will see how easy that is to make a comparison between two images so let me take this url and paste it here so cypress will visit there for this line then i need to click the photo i mean it is under the anchor tag <clears throat> i can use this class Yes, it is an unicorn. Let me write the expat. So it is the IMG tag attribute plus an attribute below. This that's it and I will use the expat and paste it here. That means it will read that element. I mean the element means this photo. After that I mean, here we we'll click here. Okay, that's all. We we'll click and we need to compare the part. I mean, not the whole one. This is the whole page that we do not need to uh, check the white portion. We just need to check that particular part. Check this one. If I inspect that element, you can easily see that uh, in the image tag, uh, I can find that um, the, my image. See why I don't get and that image tag i will take image tag and after that i will use the comparison part okay let me just copy i didn't memorize this very well 
that you see with your comparison snapshot. Okay. So we do okay. Then comparison snapshot. Now here I will use the name of the, uh, of the of the saving image. I mean, it will come here and take a uh, take the image and it will set in the baseline for the first time when we will execute the program. So we need to keep. Uh, give our name before saving it. I mean, before saving the image. Suppose I'm giving git picture. This is the name of the file. I'm giving 0 0.2 threshold below, and that's all. Now we can uh, execute this program. Before uh, before, uh, before running it, uh, I need to. Uh, I'm just showing you one thing that uh, there will create a folder automatically here, and there will be a subfolder under that folder. Uh, um, there is a base time folder where after uh, executing this um, executing this code, uh, we will see the image that has saved in that base time folder. Okay, let's run this. Let's see what happens. Okay, DB, uh, it has visited and it has taken the screenshot. I mean, there is no comparison for the first time. You can check here that it has created a folder for um, Cypress Visual Screenshots. You can go to the baseline, there is two other folders. The first one is the baseline, and that is my photo. It has saved here automatically in the baseline photo. Now it will work as a baseline. Now I will uh, run this program again and we will see the comparison part. You can be here and we make a comparison and you can see easily here in the log that passed image difference is zero and we have uh, successfully passed our test case so that's all about it we can um we can make it fail as well so let me do one thing let's change the photo and let me change it and we will see how it used to compare my image now. It may take time. If you run this again, and see, uh, it has failed. Uh, the percentage is more than 95%. So we we gave the threshold 0.2%. I mean 0 0.2, that, is, that was our, our threshold. And as the picture has crossed this 0.2 threshold, it, um, the test case failed. If we run again, it we can see again that it is more than 95% and it will fail even eventually. Here we can check in the baseline. In the baseline, we have the our original image that has captured uh, before. I mean, in the first time. Now, in the comparison part, you can see when the image has changed, it has stored in the comparison folder. That is the comparison part, and it compared these two photo. The comparison result of the comparison part can be shown here. I mean, we can um, we can see the uh, white portion. That is the changed i mean that has that there's a difference that what part is not available in the second photo so that's how it works if we change the photo again like let me upload my previous one previous photo peter photo and now let's run our code again You can say it has passed. Look, this that was the baseline photo. That was the comparison one, and we didn't see any kind of um, uh, any kind of difference. Uh, I mean, this app didn't able to find any kind of difference, so it has passed. And there are some uh, other example, some other examples like 
uh, here the read three options that uh, there is a um, limit option we can put that is uh, here it is five five pins uh, if it fills for the first time it will check five times i mean five times sorry not five, five times it will check the five times i mean it will um, compare the screenshot for the five times and if after the five times if it is if it fails i mean uh, if it uh, crosses the threshold that we have given uh, we have given uh, on the time the test case the whole test case will be failed you can check the other examples as well uh, like uh, hiding an element before taking this screenshot if we need to hide any kind of element before taking this screenshot we can do it with the help of a uh, hide element here uh, the thing that uh, I have explained all, already, uh, this folder Cypress Visual System shows that will be th th this will be created automatically, and there will have um, three new subfolders. And you can check and read the documentation. Uh, rest of things are very easy. If you have any kind of question, you can ask in the comment section as well.